It's been two months since Governor Neil Abercrombie held his inaugural ball in Waikiki. And tonight in a KITV4 News exclusive, we have the list of donors who helped pick up the tab for that event. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. The event raised close to $672,000, more than three times what the governor had hoped. KITV4's Catherine Cruz was there that night and joins us with the details of who gave what. Catherine. Well, you know, in an exclusive interview Governor Abercrombie gave to KITV that evening, he said any leftover money would go to charity. He promised to make the list public even though it's not required by law. Critics pushed for the disclosure, pointing out the event can be a way to funnel money and curry political favor while getting around campaign spending limits. The sold-out event at the Hilton Hawaiian drew from a cross-section of the community. Supporters could buy tables ranging from $2,500 to $10,000. Heavy hitters scored dinner on special pink china with seating closest to the head table. Following President Obama's example of releasing the donor list for his inaugural balls, Abercrombie promised he'd do the same in the interest of transparency. All everybody wants to do is, is, is to be treated fairly, to be treated squarely. That's what this administration is going to do. So the question of money and campaigns and all that, that'll be over forever. Topping the list of donors, Mitsunaga & Associates gave $30,000. The architectural and engineering firm has been a longtime fundraiser for Democrats. It's received millions in state contracts and has in the past come under scrutiny by the Campaign Spending Commission. Number two on the list, Kapolei Property Development with $15,000. The company was formed when large landowner Campbell Estate dissolved. Alexander and Baldwin came in third with a donation of $10,700. 18 others gave $10,000 each. That group ranged from local corporations like Bank of Hawaii, Hawaiian Electric, the gas company and HMSA, to local developers like Castle and Cook and Stanford and Car Development. It also included the Office of Hawaiian Affairs and unions like the University of Hawaii Professional Assembly. The UH Foundation gave $7,500 and the Board of Regents and UH Athletics gave $2,500 each. The list was rounded out by smaller donations from businesses and private citizens. Now, the political watchdog group Common Cause applauded the release of the list. It also noted that since some donors gave five times what's allowed under campaign spending laws, perhaps mandatory disclosure and limits ought to be considered. Laura. All right. Thanks, Catherine.